and this is at least five hadith in this regard, if not more. He predicted explicitly the martyrdom of Umar radiallahu an and Uthman radiallahu an, and he implied pretty much explicitly, or you can say implicitly, that Abu Bakr as-Siddiq would not die as a martyr, but he would die a natural death, that of a Siddiq. Right? And there are many hadith in this regard. And again, Hudayfa understood this. Again, remember, Hudayfa is the one who said, Oh, you will not die a natural death. The door will be broken. How did he know? The Prophet did not mention names, but the concept was there. In the famous hadith reported in Sahih Muslim, that once the Prophet was with Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman, and they were walking on the mountain of Uhud. They were walking on the mountain of Uhud. And Uhud began to tremble. It began to shake. And our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he took his foot and he tapped it. And he said, Uthbut Uhud, calm down Uhud. Some say it was trembling in awe. I have on me all of these people is trembling in awe. By the way, another tangent, side point. Those of you who know, you know, I have all of these tangents. We believe that inanimate objects have consciousness. This is something that's a part of our faith. We believe the walls, the stones, the sun, the moon, they have a type of consciousness different than our own. Not like us. I'm not saying they see, hear, but they are aware. And by the way, many modern philosophies and many theories of physics and biology also prove this, plants and whatnot, they have a type of consciousness. A type, again, not like ours. And this is proven in so many ayat and hadith. Of them is, وَإِن مِّن شَيْءٍ إِلَّا يُسَبِّبَ حَمْدِهِ Nothing is there except it praises Allah. The sun praises Allah, the moon praises Allah. These are inanimate objects. How can they praise Allah? They have consciousness. Of them, when the Prophet picked up the stones, and the stones, the Sahaba said, we heard the stone say, SubhanAllah. We heard it say, SubhanAllah. When it was in the hand of the Prophet, Hadith in Sahih Muslim. Of them, the famous Hadith in Bukhari, that when the Prophet was giving the khutbah on that, on that, on that mimbar, made out of the, the trunk of the tree, then he had a fancy three-step constructed. He left it. Allah allowed the trunk of the tree, its expressions to be heard. Not that the expressions were not there, but Allah allowed the Sahaba to hear how the tree felt. Think about that, right? The tree was feeling something. If Allah had willed, just like now, we cannot hear the sun, the moon, the trees, the stars. We cannot hear the walls. At that point in time, Allah blessed the Sahaba to hear, to be on the same wavelength of communication as this trunk tree. So they heard it in a language that they understand. And they said, we heard it sobbing. In one narration, like a, a baby boy. In another narration, like a camel that has been separated from its mother. It was sobbing, sobbing, sobbing. This was the expression that Allah gave to the ears of the Sahaba so that they could understand how the tree felt. You understand this point, right? Obviously, the tree is expressing in its own language, its own wavelength, but we are deaf to that. So Allah blessed the Sahaba. So what did the Prophet do? He interrupted the khutbah and he came down and he hugged the tree. Even inanimate objects feel the love. He hugged the tree and he patted it to calm it down even inanimate objects. And then he ordered that the tree be dug out and be buried right where he stood. And to this day, it is buried under the mimbar that the Prophet ﷺ used. The point is, all of this shows inanimate objects. They have what? They have, you guys listening? What do they have? Consciousness. They can understand. They can accept what is going on in their own way. So Allah allowed Uhud to express how it felt. Awe trembling. And the Prophet said, calm down. Don't worry. Uthbut ya Uhud. فَإِنَّمَا عَلَيْكَ نَبِيٌّ وَصِدِّيقٌ وَشَهِيدَيْنِ You only have a Nabi, a Siddiq, and two Shaheeds on you. Don't worry. You only have a Nabi, a Siddiq, and two Shaheeds. Notice, he predicted here. Everybody understands. He is the Nabi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Abu Bakr, a Siddiq, 